Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin with Lumpy Life. And uh, we got some shells on our recent adventure. And we are going to try to shine them up. If you want to take a look at the shells that we got. This is a bucket full of shells that we got. And then uh, some conch uh, shells. We uh, already uh, harvested the meat a while ago. Uh, haven't cooked it, it's in the freezer, so we got to let you know how that is. But uh, picked up some muriatic acid from uh, Gaisana Mall, pure muriatic acid. And then uh, what you do is you put uh, three quarters water in a bucket and then one quarter of the uh, muriatic acid. So three to one or three parts water, one part muriatic acid. So uh, let's take a look at the shells one more time before we get started. I got a... Uh, fill up the water buckets but as you can see it is uh, kind of sun bleached or you know it's got a kind of a white film so we're hoping that it this is the underside which is pretty shiny but uh, we're hoping to kind of clean up these this one has a bunch of barnacles on it so you know we're not very hopeful but maybe we'll clean it up a little bit um, and then you know these are very very nice on the inside and then we just got some random shells and um, coral that we found on the beach. So we will see what happens. Let's get this water bucket filled up and get prepped for muriatic acid. Okay, so what YouTube suggested uh, watching a few videos is take your biggest shell, put it in the uh, bucket, and you want the water to cover it, and then you'll put your muriatic acid in on top. So. We're gonna start filling the bucket. Okay, so they say not to use stainless steel because it will discolor it. So I just found this. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but muriatic acid is very, very dangerous. So you gotta be careful here. All right. So I've already filled the bucket with uh, some water and on the, uh, step back a little bit, um, on the video it said that there could be a chemical reaction so that you put the water in first. And you don't want to breathe this. It is smoking. Yeah, you can see the smoke. You don't want to breathe it. We picked up a pair of tongs <coughs> at the market. This bucket was specifically going to be used for the muriatic acid. I'm going to dip this shell into the, let me stir this real quick once. You notice I have uh, safety glasses on and uh, some gloves. Probably need some heavier duty or gloves, but just be very, very careful. And what you want to do is dip your shell into the muriatic acid for three seconds and then put it in the wash. This is just straight water here. So let's, uh, let's start with a small one. Just uh, let's start with this guy. So, make sure I got a good grip on it, and I'm going to put it in for three seconds. One, two, three. Oh, wow. And they say that, you know, you can do this a couple times. You're not getting the color that you want. So now we're gonna 
we're gonna do the big guy. I wanna make sure I have a good grip on it because I don't want it splashing on me. So here we go. See that muriatic acid working very well. Watch out. Getting heavy. Try dipping that top in one more time. Just the top. Cleaner, way cleaner now. Way cleaner. But wow, that's so cool. You're nice. Yeah. Okay, let's try Barnacle Bill here. <laughs> you can see how it's kind of uh, kind of chalky along the side, so. And very dry. Yeah, when it's dry, so let's check this out. I don't uh, expect too much from this one because of uh, all the barnacles on it. Yeah. I like it. It has characters in it. As you can see. Wow, it's cleaner. So I'm going to try a piece of coral. This is a piece of red coral that we found on the beach in uh, White Island. So one, two, three, four, five. That cleaned it up a little bit. Yeah. Made that red pop. Maybe it's because it's wet, but we will soon find out. All right, let's check out this one. It's uh, a little faded on the back, but we like the inside. So let's just see what happens here. Now 
this is what you do when you're semi-retired. <laughs> you try to find things to do to keep yourself busy. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah. That's cool. That one. This one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Another piece of coral that we found on the beach. Mary Lou's getting to, into the action. <laughs> Gotta work together. Teamwork. Hey guys, it's been a couple days since we uh, just did our uh, muriatic acid uh, wash on the shells and I just wanted to show you the uh, updates how it's looking so let's take a look we uh, let them dry pretty good but as you can see on the on the conch shells this color really popped so I think uh, I think it turned out really well. And then our other shells did the same. So the muriatic uh, acid wash on the shells did a great job. That purple one's really cool. It's like, uh, that'd make a pretty cool necklace. I mean, it's a little big, but pretty cool. So yeah, uh, get yourself some muriatic acid if you get some cool shells and uh, clean them up this is the one with the uh, all the barnacles on it um, it uh, cleaned up pretty good I mean it's got a little character now but uh, turned out well all right guys appreciate you uh, tuning in and checking out our our bounty of seashells and uh, cleaning them up. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.